In this video, we're going to talk about identifying value creation in private equity. Value creation has three parts. Operational improvement, change in EBITDA. Multiple expansion, change in multiple. And deal structuring, change in net debt. Private equity is pretty simple. You find a company, buy a company, create value in a company, and sell a company. And if you can't do it, you find a private equity fund manager to find a company, buy a company, create value in a company, and sell a company. In this video, we're gonna focus specifically on the value creation portion. In the 1980s, back in the days of Barbarians at the Gate, more than half of value creation in private equity was done through deal structuring. In 2012, between 87 and 88% of value creation in private equity was created through operational improvement and multiple expansion. Since operational improvement and multiple expansion are so predominant, let's go through these in more detail along with a strategy that utilizes them both. So operational improvements or change in EBITDA can be broken into change in revenue or change in margin. Revenue can be changed by introducing new products or services or going into new geographies or having an innovative strategy. An example of an innovative strategy was when Bain Capital bought Dollarama back in 2004, it changed Dollarama's pricing strategy. Before Bain Capital bought Dollarama, all of Dollarama's prices were a dollar. After that, Bain Capital introduced a tiered strategy where products were sold for $2, $3, and $4. After looking at change in revenue, we want to figure out the cause of the change in revenue. We want to figure out if it was company specific, if Dollarama changed their tier pricing strategy by themselves, or if it was the entire industry. Did all dollar stores change their pricing strategy? Next, if we realize it's company specific, we want to figure out, was that change organically done or was it acquired? In the sake of Dollarama, well, Dollarama didn't buy another store with a tiered pricing strategy. Dollarama made that change itself. And so that change was organic. When it comes to change in revenue, we want to ask the two main questions. Was it the industry or the company specific? And if it was company specific, was it organic or was it acquired? Moving on beyond change in revenue, we look at change in margin, which is another part of operational improvement. Now we want to ask the same two questions for change in margin that we asked for change in revenue. Were margins, cost efficiency, outsourcing and manufacturing, were margins changed because of the entire industry or the company specific? And if it was the company specific, was it acquired or was it an organic change? Next, let's look at multiple expansion or change in multiple. More specifically, we're gonna look at a change in growth profile. When the future growth of a business increases, the multiple of a business increases. And so if a private equity fund buys a business and is able to increase its growth profile, it's also able to increase its multiple. Now, when looking at the cause of the increase in growth profile, you need to ask two questions. The same questions that you ask for operational improvement. And those questions are, did the entire industry growth profile increase or was it just a company? And if it was just a company, was that growth profile acquired? Did you buy a fast growing company or was it organically achieved? The idea of breaking up the industry in a company and breaking up inorganic versus organic in both change in EBITDA and change in multiple was first thought of by PJ Visio and George Pushner at Duppen Phelps with their created value attribution model. Finally, I'd like to talk about a value creation strategy that combines both operational improvement and multiple expansion. And that strategy is the buy and build strategy. That is when you buy a platform company in an industry and then buy other companies in the same industry and you roll them in to the platform company. By rolling these companies together, you're gonna to gain quite a few operational synergies, but also when you buy smaller companies and create a larger company with those smaller companies, you get a size premium because the bigger the company, the bigger the multiple. 
let's recap. We talked about identifying value creation in private equity. We talked about operational improvements, change in EBITDA, multiple expansion, change in multiple, and deal structuring, change in net debt. If you have thoughts on identifying value creation in private equity, please leave a comment below.